James Holmes' trial set to begin Tuesday with jury selection is surprisingly simple and complex at the same time. Simple in that Holmes' defense attorneys won't try to sell jurors on the idea he didn't kill 12 people and injure 70 others in a mass shooting at a theater more than two years ago. They've already admitted he entered a Denver area theater on the opening night of The Dark Knight Rises and opened fire. The trial is expected to be incredibly complex, however, in how the judge and jury consider Holmes, a rare mass shooter who survived to see his trial. In 2013, his attorneys offered to have Holmes plead guilty and serve life in prison with no chance of parole. But during an April 2013 hearing, the DA for Arapahoe County refused to drop the death penalty option. The DA told the courtroom, for James Egan Holmes, justice is death. Give me a front row ticket. Why? I want to be there for it. Why is that? Why? He took my good friend from this earth. Holmes' attorneys have entered a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity, and his mental stability was a major focus of the media coverage surrounding the theater shooting ever since he appeared dazed as he sat in a courtroom for his first appearance in July 2012. Just last month, Holmes' parents wrote a letter first published in the Denver Post pleading for him to be spared the death penalty. They wrote, he is not a monster. He is a human being gripped by a severe mental illness. With 9,000 summons issued, the jury pool for Holmes' trial is being called one of the largest in U.S. history. The process of filling out jury questionnaires and whittling the pool down to 12 jurors and 12 alternates is expected to take several months before lawyers even get to opening statements. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.